The ultimate goal of every small business owner is to grow their beloved business from startup to a maturity stage or probably a unicorn where they can earn billions of US dollars. But like every other thing, the business environment has its own peculiar challenges. Some of the challenges ranges from startup to recruitment to cash flow and the rest of it. In today's video, we will be sharing with you top 6 challenges small business owners face and the solutions to these challenges. If this sounds like something you may be interested in, then come along with me. Hey guys! This is Expert NG, a platform where entrepreneurs in Nigeria and Africa can find business related information relevant to our uniqueness as a people. You also get the opportunity to ask an expert questions that are related to your business, startup, entrepreneurship journey, or even financial journey. My name is Mark and OBZ, M to the A to the C to the A to the double N E, and it is my pleasure to be your host on this show. If you are yet to be a part of the family, I would want you to please click the subscribe button right now and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss out of the content we'll bring to you every week. Most entrepreneurs go into business with a lot of hopes and expectations. But with time, those expectations are met by different challenges that can make or mar their businesses. We are going to be looking at six of those top challenges most of the startup face and how you as a startup can overcome that challenge. The first top challenge is startup capital. Now, this is like the most popular challenge faced by so many startup business out there. But the beautiful thing is this challenge has been solved to an extent. If not, we will not have a lot of startup businesses out there all over in different locations and in different places. However, for you to understand the sources of funds available to you as an entrepreneur, you need to understand fundamentally the kind of entrepreneurship you are practicing. Now, there are two types of entrepreneurship that is being practiced. The SME, which means small, medium enterprise, and the IDE, which means innovative, driven enterprise. Now, what do they mean? The IDEs are businesses that pursue global opportunities by introducing individuals to innovations. Most times, this kind of businesses are exposed to large funding because of the huge returns that comes from investing in this kind of business. While the SMEs are businesses, they are small businesses that provide solutions, that provide local solutions to problems. Unlike the IDE, the SMEs have limited resources available to them. But if you are an SME, a small medium enterprise in Nigeria, check out our previous videos because I shared with you some of the ways you can get capital to launch your business idea. So go back to our previous episode of this show and check it out. The second challenge is cash flow crunch. Just like blood is to a human being so is the flow of cash to a business without which that business would die and sadly this is one of most this is one of the top challenges faced by startup the solution to this challenge is for businesses to find ways to ensure that the business brings in more money than it spends so make sure that your business is bringing in more money than it spends secondly Ensure that the company adequately manages its fund. So set up strategies and modalities to manage the fund of your business. You can hire an accountant or get different apps that can help you in managing the cash flow of your business. Thirdly, ensure proper budgeting and cash flow forecasting. Also, find ways to develop credit worthiness with your supplies operate on credit as much as possible fourthly ensure as a business owner that you do not forget about yourself when planning for your business financial future 
These steps are so important to help you overcome the challenge of cash flow crunch. The third challenge startup face is strategy. Having a strategy is an important aspect most startups shy away from. A strategy is a long-term plan you create for your company to reach its ambition state. It includes your company's goals and objectives, your customers, the kind of product and services you would offer, and the kind of market you want to operate in to make profit. The solution is for a small business owner to put in and execute a strategy that considers the following factors. Rivalry among existing competitors, the threat of new entrants, the threat of substitute products and services, and the bargaining power of supply. At this stage, it is best for you to call in an expert than try to play smart and be penny wise and pound foolish. There are so many experts who are there to guide you, create, um, uh, come up with a strategy that would, that would consider the factors we've mentioned above and would help your business grow from the state it currently is to the place you envision. So it is not a time for you to keep experimenting. It is time for you to set a solid foundation and a baseline that would work for you and that would help you grow. The fourth challenge most startups face is recruitment and staff retention. Hire slow, fire fast is a common terminology used in entrepreneurship. According to HBR, many entrepreneurs hire fast and fire slow. Now, because of the pressure to grow their business, most entrepreneurs or most leaders hire fast because they want people to help them grow, but find it difficult to fire underperforming now, staff. Commonly, most people think that it is the it, it is the person coming for interview their dread interview most. Do you know that is not true? Like the business owner is the person, the interviewer most times is the person that dreads the interview process now the solution to this problem of recruitment and staff retention is for you as a business owner to have a human resource department that is saddled with this responsibility now the next thing for you to do is to set up policies that would guide the recruitment processes right now for you to get things right these are some of the things you need to do to overcome this challenge the first thing is to build a culture what kind of organization do you want to be known for when it comes to process and how things get done Write that down and also envision the kind of people you want to work with. This is so important. The second thing is to create an organizational structure. List the skills that you want to make up your team and what their job descriptions would be. Make sure that this is well documented and written down. What kind of skills do you want them to possess and what is the job description for this skill? Number three is to create a staffing plan. Now you need to know that the employee does not define the role. It is the role that you are seeking for that defines the kind of employee you would bring into your team. The fourth thing is for you to get the HR document and form. These forms include the employee's handbook, employee's job description, the process manual, the performance appraisal document, the staff onboarding document, employee management and record keeping document, and so on and so forth. The fifth challenge is marketing strategy. Most small business owners do not have the right marketing skill, yet they feel it is too expensive to have a top-notch marketing expert. In their solution, it's to outsource the marketing strategy of your business to an expert. Now, the truth is, is what you need at this point in your business is a document that outlines what marketing activities to engage in to motivate purchase for your product and services. That is so important. The sixth challenge is inadequate online presence. This day, online is the new offline. 
and for your business to thrive, you need to go to the place where your target audience and customers usually congregate, and that is online. The challenge is that the online space is filled with a lot of noise and your target audience is distracted. Now the business owner is thinking, how do I get my message through the whole noise to get to my target audience? So what you need to understand is when it comes to online marketing, consistency is key because consistency would lead to engagement and with engagement the more engagement you get then it leads to brand awareness and that is when your presence is established and then your prospective customers can then buy from you so it's so important for you to be consistent to be able to get to the point of building engagement and having brand awareness for your business as a small as a startup or as a small business thank you so much for being a part of today's show which of these challenges are you currently experiencing in your business? Which of the solutions stood out for you? If you've got any question, feel free to ask the expert. You send us a mail or drop your question in the comment section and we will answer to them. For more details, information regarding your business growth, startup, entrepreneurship and so on, do well to visit our website at www.experts.ng slash blog. If, if you found this video helpful, please do well to like the video, drop a comment and also click on the subscribe button because this would help you get the alert whenever we drop a new video. My name remains Mark and Obize and see you on the next episode of Expert Engine.